Oh, you got planes flying? We've got four. actual four, four of these. feet above the valley. When's the last time it erupted? So millions and millions of years, years ago. ago. Yeah. That was kind of put a kink in the tourist trade, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you get a lot of updraft though. Oh, we sacrifice the virgin every couple of years and no problem. Keep it extinct. <laughs> Sounds like a good thing. <laughs> so what's the top of the, it's just the flat on top. Yeah, you know, it's, um, it doesn't look what you think a volcano would look like. It's just a little tiny chip or the corner oh. of a mountain that rose over 25, 27,000 feet high. Oh. Some say this depressed area down here is the center of whatever gave loose. Others say it's the back side of the mountain where we're going because of the way it's all uh, crystallized in the vertical. Do you live in the Calistoga around here? Yeah, I just live three miles from the airport. Uh, that's convenient. Drive or fly to work? I drive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let him go here, it's gonna dip a little bit. River winding down the next valley over. It's Lake Sonoma and a little wedge of water up in the hills. It's up towards Healdsburg and Cloverdale. So is this, this is Mount St. Helena right here, right? This is it. Yeah. Did you for a contest of gliders? Is that how you can fly? No, no, you need your own machine to race. It's all single seaters. Competitive machines start about 50,000 and go up from there. What's uh, different about the competitive machines? Oh, no, the refined finish. Um, this machine, if you're related to cars, would be 
big old 61 Caddy or Lincoln Continental <laughs> with the racing machines like what uh, Porsche or Ferrari turns out for the formula circuit. I mean, things are so finely finished, you can run a micrometer from one end of one wing to the other, and it won't vary more than two to four thousandths of an inch, really? over 51 feet of span now. Yeah, a lot of engineering, a lot of finishing work. It's as much time in finishing the glider as there is in building it. And they're all laid up by hand. It's very um, time consuming. I wonder how they compare to the ones they used in World War II. Oh, no comparison. Those are archaic machines. Oh yeah, I mean they were just uh, simple salt. Even the basic trainer we've got, which is a 1920 design, um, performs better than they do. Is that what this is here? No, no, the high wing oh, uh, oh, machines oh, that oh. are parked next to the pavilion. They've got a, got a 20 to 1 glide angle and a, an effective speed range that's only about 15, 20 miles an hour between the fast and the smaller one. This thing runs well from 55 right up to 110. Like 34 feet forward for every foot it drops. It's just big. You can snug right up against these hills, huh? Yeah, yeah, just to see if there's any air flowing up the side. How do you tell? Got a feel of it? Feel it? Yeah. This instrument measures vertical speed. Oh. Right there, the air's rising enough to hold us at altitude, 3,600. Right. I'll move out this way a little bit and then swing it to the right. See if it's a big enough area to circle in. In which case, we'd hold. At best, we'd actually climb a bit. Two marks down is what the instrument reads in still air. That's just our natural rate of descent. <laughs> Big down! Big down! Air sinking! Heavy air, huh? Yeah, heavy air. Is there such a thing as a real heavy air? No, no, there's air that... The air rises because it's warm or buoyant. Yeah, yeah. Less dense. It sinks because it's cooler. Denser air. For every bubble of air that rises in equal volume, it's got to move back to the ground. That makes sense. Well, by four o'clock, it would be here. We live in this big beaker, right? Yeah. <laughs> Great time of day, though, with the lighting like this. Yeah. The steam rising from the geothermal plant. Is that a geothermal over there? Yeah, that's where PG and tap the geysers for electric energy. Does it work? <laughs> yeah, it works. It just uh, it ain't as much steam as they thought there was going to be. Some say they overestimated the volume of it. Others say they overdrilled the area. <laughs> the truth will never come out. No. Oh no. The truth <laughs> would really would happen. In the secret. So PG and uh, Gulf Oil Project is probably well hidden. <laughs> Enemy fighter! Where? Who's that? Head on! <laughs> Which one I Range to target, Mark! That's my one of my brother or brother in law there. in the summer when we're operating everything plus the club gli uh, gliders that come out people with their own just use our towing service okay, it towers, it's the towers or towing service huh? yeah I mean if you have your own glider come out and rig it uh, I'd charge you between 20 and 30 dollars depending on how high you go that's not bad good day you stay up all day 
stay up all day? Oh, sure, in the right, you know, right conditions. Today, you could have got away at about 10.30 in the morning and been up till probably about a half hour ago. Wow. After a certain point, the sun gets so low, the ground's no longer warming. As soon as it starts to cool just a little bit, it all goes smooth like this. We'll run along the face of the rock, see if the air is heated along there and all. Oh yeah. Every now and then somebody will stop by that I haven't seen for a long time. The little kids they were dragging behind them are in college now. <laughs> or married with kids of their own. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's been a while. <laughs> speed up. It really accelerates. Yeah, just a real light breeze washing right up the hills. Processing the gold in the gold rush here, I guess. Uh, I think they were after silver, but that's just what they found. about that time again.